Time to play with some clay. If you're going to put text <coughs> texture behind the the character, you better do it before you start putting the body together. <laughs> Especially if you're not taking it apart. Because it could get in the way of the texture. <clears throat> I block in the uh, leg structures and the arm structures and I try to keep the length exactly the same think that one might be a little long. Let's check it. Yeah, just a little bit long. This is how I make sure the forearms and the upper arms and the lower legs and upper legs are about the same length so that uh, you don't get surprised when I'm halfway through the sculpture that one leg is longer than the other. A friend of mine in Alabama suggested I talk more because she says my voice is soothing. <laughs> Okay, now to place the head. Out the rib cage. Rib cage the same angle as his shoulders. Don't have to be exactly because that shoulder is actually going to be raised a little bit more. So the rib cage is going to be just a little bit more than a head length wide. So about that far. I want to get the angle of the rib cage just right. If you're going to sculpt human beings, you should learn 
their proportions. And uh, there's a lot of places where you can learn that from. Books and everything else. I work all those things out in uh, my videos, my instructional DVDs. If you want to learn how to get your proportions right, uh, you might want to invest in some of my instructional DVDs. This is actually the first time I've tried this blocking in of the chest like this. And it, Actually, it's working pretty good. I don't know why I never thought of it before. Huh. Well, it just goes to show I'm 73 years old and I'm still learning. <laughs> After over 50 years of doing this.
what he's doing is uh, let's see if I can find a picture. I've got him holding his uh, train of feathers, but I'm not going to have it up here in front of him. Well, I could do that. That actually would work out. Let's see. That actually would work out pretty good. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Anyway, so he'll be holding his train of feathers because, uh, you know, any gust of wind will blow it flying up in the air and would alert anybody below that he's looking out for. So, of course, he wouldn't be standing up, but artistic license. <laughs> All right, uh, as you can see, I got uh, him pretty well blocked in as far as anatomy goes, which will give me a good guide to uh, continue this next time. And I'm sorry I couldn't show you the whole thing, but uh, I give all this information in my instructional DVDs, and that's what I have to sell to be able to com keep on uh, doing these videos for you on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, please like and subscribe. Subscribe and click the little bell and then give me a thumbs up if you like the video I'd really appreciate that it lets me know that people out there are appreciating what I'm doing all right that's gonna be it for today next time give me a thumbs up and share my video and then check out my instructional DVDs uh, the link down below this video all right, see you next time.